Hi guys. So uh, one of the topics I'm going to talk about today is uh, Ethan Couch. He's the young man at the age 16, a uh, psychologist that was called to uh, court on his behalf, said he was suffering from something called affluenza because he was so fabulously wealthy he didn't know the difference between right and wrong. Um, I follow that case because he stole liquor, he used his father's vehicle, um, had co drugs in his system, and plowed through four people, killed four people, and permanently injured one of his friends that was riding on the back of the pickup truck. And he got off with 10 years probation. 10 years probation. I got kids in, my, in the boxing program. He got caught with a friend who had weed on them, and they were going to jail for a few months. But he's back up in the news again, apparently broke it, breaking not, uh, probation by not sh go showing up to see his probation officer. And uh, it had something to do with a video of him at a drinking party with some of his friends. And I guess somebody there had a video of him drinking up a storm. And they only posted part of the video of him just drinking, just uh, standing around laughing and having a good time. So um, while his friends slid into some uh, some cups of beer. But um, he and his mother is missing. Now the reason I'm talking about this issue is that I don't really, uh, as far as from a social health issue when it comes to total health, um, Here's a prime example of um, someone that's not really not socially attuned and it's not come balanced with the rest of rest of the health, the five healths, the four healths that I talk about. And it's encouraged by his parents and the, the way, the example they set and um, of pretty much giving him no sense, no sense of uh, remorse, no punishments for some of the stuff he's doing. And um, incidentally, his father owns uh, owns a steel roofing company in Texas. Um, yeah, there's lots of uh, information online as to whereabouts. So if you're in Texas, please do not support their business. Give the business to other other um, companies where other people can benefit uh, rather than these people because they, they're clearly m making a lot of money and they, they don't really give a damn about society or the damage that they cause or pain they cause to other people as long as they have the ability to buy their way out of stuff they will do that and those type of people, people should not be supported um, by the construction industry and I work in construction too, so fortunately for me, I don't live in that part of Texas, so I don't have to worry about buying anything from his company. Um, so I guess the tip for today, because this video is going to be short, because even after two years, I'm still highly upset about the lack of consequences that even the judge, which is part of the so the so part of that, his part of. Ethan Couch's social health, health issue didn't punish him. Um, <clears throat> so he has no reason to show any remorse because there's no consequences for killing five, four people and put uh, seriously injuring someone who's his friend. As long as he's scot free and can have his freedom, his friend is trapped in his body. But his friend again was, you know, in an environment that he shouldn't have been either. Um, but the four people that were killed, they didn't deserve to die. And in this case, I think justice failed. And but you know, karma, when applied to social health. It does. It does come back. It 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 will come back and get get him, and eventually he will pay. Um, how how badly that I really don't know. 
but this um, this whole situation with Eth Ethan Couch is just a re just justice really really failed. Um, no one supported it except the judge who overruled the jury. I have no I, I don't even know there was a jury because he did plead guilty. Um, I don't know what that judge was smoking. Probably the same stuff Ethan was smoking. And I hope she does she no longer has her job. Because um, I haven't followed it for about two years. Every now and then I look online to see what's going on with him and nothing came up until this week. Um, where he's missing and there's a warrant out for his arrest. Uh, the US Marshals are looking for him. The Sheriff Department, the Police Department. Hopefully you guys, if you all see this video, you all have seen him and know his whereabouts. They have pictures of what he looks like online. Uh, please do your part and see about bringing him to justice. It's highly unlikely he's in the country because his family is very, very wealthy. And um, <clears throat> he and his mother is missing, so it's highly likely they have left the country. And if they left by plane, it would probably be easy for them to be tracked. If they left by boat to go to another country and then take a flight somewhere else, then it's probably going to be harder to track for them to be found. But it's highly unlikely they're here in the United States. So if those of you worldwide who've seen this video, send it viral if you can. Um, let's bring this young man to justice. It's four people are dead and I do, although I am not associated with the families in any way, shape or form, I would hate for my kids um, to, to get run over by a drunk driver kid who is constantly getting off easy for him to be able to walk free after killing them. He shouldn't be allowed to live uh, the lifestyle he continues to live. He should be, he should be locked up. So um, again. Look online for, for pictures of what he looks like now because I really don't want to violate any um, YouTube uh, policies by posting his picture on, on my thing. And um, let's find him because we as society have a duty to, so to social health. And right now Ethan Couch is a blight, a disease to social health with a very um new um terminology for his disease affluenza and that's ridiculous in my book hopefully it's ridiculous to you guys you all have a good day